What is going on, Jaguars? Welcome inside Kavanaugh Hall and welcome to the Jag Sports Zone. I'm your host, Sam Weatherald, and along with the Sports Zone crew, we're here to bring highlights, calendar events, news, and interviews about our Jaguar athletes. All right, Jaguars, let's jump right into it with a huge announcement regarding our men's basketball team. Athletic Director Roderick Perry has announced the signing of the 10th basketball coach in IUPUI history, Hall of Fame Jaguar Matt Crenshaw. With over 15 years of coaching experience, Crenshaw aims to lead IUPUI to its first NCAA tournament appearance since 2003. He's led IUPUI to each of its most successful seasons in team history as both a player and an assistant. His number 21 jersey became the third Jaguar to have their number retired by the program. Here's the announcing press conference of Coach Mike Crenshaw. He is a member of the IUPUI Athletics Hall of Fame, and his number 21 is retired and resides in the rafters of Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Quite simply, he's home. And I would like to welcome Coach Matt Crenshaw, the 10th head men's basketball coach at IUPUI. To the IUPUI men's alumni, men's basketball alumni, whether you are Metros or Jaguars, thank you for paving the way for a fellow alum such as myself to have the successes that I enjoyed over the years. I will, wor I will work hard to make sure that you all know that this is your home, our home. Together, we will expand the program and work to achieve success even greater than we will all have experienced. I am a walking affirmation that with hard work, patience, imagination, perseverance, seconds. focus towards your endeavors, all while trusting God, you can reach your highest aspirations. I look forward to growing the program. I'm ready to get to work. Thank you. Go Jags. Congratulations to Mike Crenshaw. Moving on, our women's golf team stuck around right here in Indianapolis to host the Lady Jag Invitational. The two-day tournament was hosted at Plum Creek in Carmel, and five Jaguars snatched up top 10 performances in the competition. Amelie Spada started an amazing tee-off, followed by IUPUI's Madeline Pape with a big drive and swing. And at the 18 hole, she wrapped things up with a score of 151. Here's Shelby Busker finishing up the day at 10th with a score of 154. After Shelby Busker came, Kara Blair, who clocked in with the eighth place finish with a score of 153. Amelie Spado wrapped up the Lady Invitational with a score of 153 as well, putting her in ninth place to push the Jags to have a second place finish. Congratulations, Lady Jags, and way to host in style. Our men's golf team packed their bags for an early week tournament that started on Sunday through Monday. They faced off against 16 other teams. Be sure to head over to iupuijags.com slash calendar to check the live stats, articles, and highlights of the Invitational. Great job to all of our Jag golfers and good luck in the upcoming Horizon League Championships next week. Stay tuned later in the show for all the information on that. Our softball team played two doubleheaders this weekend here on campus against the Robert Morris Colonials. Sadly, the Jaguars lost the first three games of the series, but the team ended the weekend on a bright note as the Lady Jags headed into the bottom of the seventh. They came back as they were down 4-1 to one in the seventh inning to defeat the Colonials in the final game. Macy Bedrick blasted a three-run home run to tie the game at four for a piece, and Morgan Gilbert celebrated her birthday with bases loaded with a walk-off single with a final score of 5-4. to four. Our men's tennis team was up in Chicago facing off against the Flames on Saturday. Sadly, co-captains Ethan Mardanis Budiono and Alice Jokum couldn't get anything going against the UIC. And they took a tough loss with a final score of 4-3. to three. We talked last week about our girls track and field team breaking school records as they have consistently all year. And we are proud to announce our hopes were right. As the girls faced off in the Gibson Invitational at Indiana State, the girls set five records over the three-day event. By Sabrina Robertson, Marie Terry, Kayla Walnick, and Michaela Miller, all putting their names on the history books per usual. Kayla Walnick set three records by the second day, including a new 100-meter hurdles time, a new shot put record, and shattered the javelin record as well. 
Congratulations to the boys track and field team as well as Mitchell Gitz clocked in first place to win the 5,000 meter race. Not to take away any spotlight from IUPUI's Nate Kaiser and Eric Peterson who also earned top five finishes in the race as well. Congratulations to both men and women's track team with such a successful weekend in Terre Haute. That's all the highlights that we have for you here in the Jag Sports Zone studio, but do not go anywhere. Coming up, we have an exclusive interview with one of our Lady Jags who dominated this week. Stick around, and we'll be right back. It's always out there. The horizon. A reminder that our greatest goals are rarely attained. And as soon as you reach one, another emerges. But every day we rise and work harder, dig deeper, ask one more question, take one more shot in relentless pursuit of our horizon. And welcome back to Kavanaugh Hall. After checking out the highlights from the Lady Jags Invitational, we needed more insight from the players. Luckily, we got to catch up with Amelie Spada and got to talk about life leading up to the Horizon League Championships next week. Welcome to the Jags Sports Zone, Amelie. How are you doing today? Are nerves high knowing you've got uh, the Horizon League Championship coming up? Um, I'm doing good today. Um, I'm actually just at practice right now and we're getting ready for the conference this weekend. We're all super excited to play conference again after we've missed last year. But yeah, nerves are getting kind of nervous now. Yeah, I understand that. Um, you know, can we just, let's just touch on your background a little bit. Coming from Austria, you know, to play in the U.S., can you touch on what it was like making the transition from Europe to the States? Um, the biggest transition, what I would say, was um, playing for an actual team here. In Europe, you mostly just play as an individual, and having the experience of playing with a team is like amazing, and team atmosphere is so good, and I absolutely love it here. Well, that's awesome. We are, uh, we're happy that you're enjoying the team aspect of things here <laughs> on IUP, uh, IUPUI. Uh, now, talking about you know, what, you've done in, what you've done specifically for the team, I mean, you helped carry us to two Horizon League championships back to back. What does it mean to you coming back after having to take a year off due to the pandemic? Um, I think that we took the time, like we spend the time wisely practicing and preparing for this conference. We didn't really take a break. We kept practicing all fall season, even though we didn't actually play any tournaments. We, we basically prepared for over a year now for this conference and I think we're ready to compete. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you made the most of uh, what you could do with, with your time. So with yeah. uh, two years under your belt of success in the Horizon League Championships, what are you feeling looking ahead, taking on Cleveland State in the first round? Um, I think we have a good team this year. I think even though we have three freshmen in the lineup, they're all very competitive and very hardworking, which will definitely be to our benefits. Um, most of our team members have already played this course, the Purdue Ackerman course, so I think that's to our advantage also. And yeah, we just are ready to compete. Well, that's awesome, Amelie. We're so excited to cover the highlights of the team coming up next week, and we're thankful that you found time in your busy schedule to catch up with us again. Uh, thanks again, Amelie. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thanks so much to Amelie Spada one of four co-captains on the women's golf team, and good luck to the Lady Jags as they kick off the Horizon League tournament against Cleveland State next week. We're gonna take another quick break, but do not go anywhere, Jags. When we come back, Alex Burr will get you all caught up on where to look for the Jags later this week. We'll be right back. Everyone says that college is a place to find. 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 Find yourself. But I know who I am. I'm Naomi. I work hard, I love my friends, and I always want the ball. IUPUI is a lot of things, but most importantly, it's a place to be yourself. It's more than late night study sessions or serious amounts of coffee. It's a place to really learn something new, change it, and leave your mark on it. College was just the beginning, and what I do next is up to me.
welcome back inside Kavanaugh Hall in the JAG Sports Zone studio. I'll be your guest host, Alex Burt, and we're going to deliver all the upcoming competitions on the IEPY JAG's calendar. Let's check out where they're off to. Softball team is added again with another back-to-back -back doubleheader. You won't catch the girls here at home this weekend as they load the buses and head to Highland Heights to face off against the Northern Kentucky Norses. Catch both of those games going live at 12 and 2 on both Friday and Saturday. Our women's track teams have a very busy schedule this weekend. Starting off on Friday, the Jaguars will head north to Hillsdale, Michigan to line up in the Hillsdale College Relays. This will be a 7 p.m. start time, and make sure to follow up next week on Jag Sports Zone to catch the highlights of that meet. The next day, women's track and field will meet up with the men's team at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. Both teams' matchups will kick off at 9 a.m. that Saturday. Good luck to our team leader, Mitchell Gitz, as he goes for another gold again in the 5,000 meter run. And good luck to all of our record-breaking Jags as they try to top the leaderboards once again. Good luck to both our teams, and we look forward to covering their highlights next episode. Next, men's tennis takes on Cleveland State at home this weekend on the 24th and the 25th at 2.30 p.m. Our men's and women's golf teams start their run for the Horizon League Championship up north in West Lafayette, Indiana. Our men's team will play Cleveland State for the three-day tournament. Women's team captain Amelie Svera, one of four captains, and Enrico Risi Miozzo, co-captain for the men's team, are looking to lead their respective teams to victory. Good luck, Jags. As always, it is a pleasure delivering Jaguar sports and highlights here from Kavanaugh Hall. We appreciate Amelie Sveda for an awesome interview, and good luck to all the Jags in their forthcoming competitions. Thank you all for watching, and from the Jag Sports Zone crew, this is Alex Burr signing off. And remember, go Jags!